So that's my spiel. Good morning, friends. So today is Sunday. And I just got back from church and um, David is gone. He is in California. He's visiting his dad right now. And then he's got um, four days of schooling down there for his job. And then he'll be back um, next Saturday. So um, today I've just got some chores to do. I kind of want to get all my outdoor chores done today. And then um, just be able to be inside and do some of my indoor things all week. So, um, it is, let's see, it is 16 degrees outside. And so I'm gonna be getting on all my warm gear and headed out to get all these things done. I need to um, bring in wood, um, go get water and take out the compost. And I've got some cardboard I need to burn because we finally have a day without wind at least at the moment, there's no wind. Yeah, so I'm going to get the stove fired up because um, it's been shut down while I was away at church. Um, I wanna take some extra straw out to the chickens um, because it's a little cold and then make sure that they have water and that it's not froze up. Um, and some exciting news, I was excited. Maybe it's just a chicken mom thing, I don't know. But we were getting one egg a day for, a a couple weeks maybe three weeks and then I was like what is going on we're not getting any eggs I'm like okay they're on strike or something so then one day I saw my little uh, penny I call my my chicken penny um, I saw her come out from under the ramp of the little duck house and I was like hmm I wonder what she's doing under there. So I got in up under there and there was five eggs in there and um, three of them were frozen and cracked, but we did get two of them. And then, so I've been checking there every day and we've been having one egg a day. And so I got them a special treat. I went and got them a bag of cob, which is corn, oats, and barley. And I've been giving that to them a little bit. Um, and then I just had this conversation with my chickens about, you know, what's going on in the world and how, you know, their chicken friends down south um, all got sick and they all went to chicken heaven. So there's there's not a lot of eggs and everybody's in need of eggs. And, you know, maybe they could up their game just a little bit so that I have some eggs. And so this morning I went out to feed the chickens and I'm like, all right, I looked in the hidey hole where, she, where my, my hen's been laying her her eggs and nothing in there. I'm like, oh, she's not, she's not giving me any eggs yet today. And so then I go in the coop and I was like, oh, you guys, I am so happy. I was so proud. I had four eggs in there. So they listened to me. <laughs> My dad was just a, a proud, a proud chicken mama. Um, so we got four eggs. So I'm hoping that, um, so we have eight, seven, eight chickens. So I'm hoping that we get back up in numbers and so that we can, um, so some of the chickens are mine and some are my daughters. And so um, we're sharing the eggs. So they get, they get half and you know, they get some and I get some. So I wanna keep both of us in eggs and then it would be great if we could, you know, sell some. So we take the eggs down to a local store here. If you're local anywheres, uh, you can probably get eggs at Chickapalooza and they are farm fresh local eggs if you're in need of eggs, um, if they're not sold out. Um, right now it's kind of a time, a slow time for the chickens because it's cold and it's winter, but um, a lot of chickens I've heard are just starting to uh, get back into laying. So there's an option if you need eggs um, at Chickapalooza in Wasilla. And if you are not in Wasilla, um, I would also, you know, if, if you're anywhere else down in the States or wherever else, there's probably um, farms that still have, you know, local, uh, small, small owned farms that probably have eggs that you can, um, that you can buy from. Um, and uh, let's see, other news around here, uh, my daughter and son-in-law and five kids 
um, that lived next door in the in the house in the big house um, in the front yard. They moved yesterday, so they got their own house. Um, it has five bedrooms, which is a little bigger than what was here. This is a three bedroom house here, so they were kind of outgrowing their house and um, they homeschool all their kids. So just having everyone home all the time um, and not having space was just, you know, they needed their own their own place and they have a bigger yard outdoors and a fenced in yard so the kids can just go run and play and they're gonna have a beautiful, great summer on that property um, and they're backed up to state land. So they're gonna have so much fun um, even this winter riding snow machines and in the summer, you know, it's just gonna be right, you know, just a lot of fun for them. So I'm excited for them. But I'm sad because I can't just pop in and see my grandkids, you know, multiple times a day. But I know where they live and it's only maybe 12 miles away so I can go and visit them, um, you know, as often as they'll let me. And, um, and so with that, we will be probably, our idea is to rent out rooms. Um, and so I think possibly my son might be moving in to one of those rooms. So that'll be exciting to be able to see him um, more often. And then his daughter, when she's uh, with him, I'll be able to see her a little more often. So that'll be, that'll be fun, exciting. Um, what else is happening around here? Um, the 21 day fast that we talked about a couple, um, a couple videos ago when we went to Soldatna. Uh, it seems like so long ago, but I'm still fasting. Today is the last day for my fast. So I had 21 days of um, fluid fasting. So I had lots and lots of broth, bone broth and chicken broth and all the broths. And I had coffee and I feel like that's it. And um, it's been a really, really good, super good experience. And um, yeah, it's very exciting things um, that came out of that. And so tomorrow I will get back to eating and I will um, do it slowly um, because my body has not digested anything in 21 days, basically. So um, we'll take that slowly and um, get back into eating tomorrow. Um, and I was just curious if you guys know, so we live a super simple life. It's not just simple in that we live in a tiny cabin without water and we have wood heat only. It's not only simple in those ways. It's also simple in uh, the things that we own, the things that we have and the things that we do. And um, I'm not sure if you guys might wanna see some of those videos, um, maybe like what we eat in a day or, um, some of the things that we have or don't have. Um, I think we've done some videos about that. Um, we have very minimal things in our home. We own minimal things and I feel good about it. But since David's been gone, so last week, he last time he was gone, I rearranged the loft and that was a big chore. I moved the bed loft to the office and, and, and the office over to where the bed was. And um, I went through everything and my dog is drinking water. Maddie's over there drinking water. You can hear that. So anyway, um, so I'm not changing anything that drastic while he's gone, but I have been in a kind of a winter blues slump because um, it's cold and it's winter and we're getting out a little bit and doing some hikes and whatnot, but you just don't get out as, I just don't get out as much as I would like. And so I get in this, um, every now and again, I get in a slump and I um, start getting rid of things and I minimalize and David just goes with it because he knows that's that's what I do every three to six months is I just start getting rid of stuff. I don't know where we get the stuff. I don't know how it gets here, but there's stuff and I just keep getting rid of stuff. And um, so I've been getting rid of things and I went through my clothes and my jewelry and makeup and things that I have minimal of anyway, but I go through it to, to make sure that everything I have, I'm going to use and that I love. And so um, we've done that with um, 
I did that with the bedroom already. My little bedroom space of all bedroom things is in like a six foot space. And um, so now I'm going through all my craft stuff, which is all my paints and all, um, I have uh, some craft boxes and then I have books and office type things for um, all the things that you would need, you know, for YouTube and for my art business and all that sort of stuff. So I have all that stuff in the office space, plus my books. I love books, but um, once I read a book, if it's not, if it's good, but it's not, you know, something that I need to keep, um, then I will, you know, I get them at thrift stores usually and I'll take them back to thrift stores and that's fine. Um, they're fun to read and that's it. So anyway, if you want any videos about um, minimalizing um, your, your home, um, let me know. I can certainly do that. I've been doing, we've been doing minimalism for about six years and it is totally a process. Every time you go through the same things that you've gone through before, you can get rid of more things. It's just, that's just how it is. And then, um, and also food. We are very, very simple eaters. Um, we eat pretty much the same thing every day, every week. Um, and we don't do a lot of cooking. Um, we have two pots and one skillet and two um, baking pans. Anyways, we are very, very simple eaters. You know, we just need to eat to survive and to be comfortable. And uh, we don't have a lot of food storage. We don't have stuff stored up. We just, we just have minimal and uh, we're, we're okay with that. Um, I feel better when there are less things crowding my life. So yeah, I'm going to get my stuff on and get, get moving, get outdoors and get some stuff done. And then I have a meeting at four o'clock. So I need to leave here about 3.15. Right now it's 1130. So I'm going to hope to get, um, I'm going to hope to get all these chores done outside and then be able to come in and get a nice hot cup of coffee and relax before I have to go to my small group meeting. So yeah, I'm going to get all my gear on and I'm going to get outside and get this stuff done.
So we have on our list, we have fill the indoor wood bin, uh, fill the porch wood bin, get water, um, burn uh, or take the compost out to the bin, a burn cardboard, get straw to the chickens, water to the chickens, and then take ashes out of the stove. So that's, that's our chore list for right now. So I'm gonna get busy on that. First, I'm gonna set all my things out on the porch that I need to get done and move this wood bin over to the port over to the door so that I can get that filled but I think I want to take these ashes out first before I get the wood bin in my way take these things out to the porch I should have took the ashes out before I filled it with wood, but you know, I forgot I was going to take the ashes out. So it is what it is. We're doing it this way. So pretty good in there. Stir it up just a bit. Get some of these front ashes out. Just along the sides here. here and uh, we're gonna have some hot coals coming out of here this time so I shook down a bunch and it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite hot so yep I got some hot stuff which is but I just have to be careful carrying this out if I was to trip and fall this could be extremely dangerous if it was to fly back on me. So. I'm going to scrape out 
as much as I can here. So I can put this tray back in. And I'm gonna get this door shut because it's gonna draft on that fire and make it blaze up. And I don't want that to happen while I'm outside, not paying attention to it. I'm gonna grab up this hot deal here and carefully take it out. But before I do that, I'm gonna sweep up these, this ash here to make sure that none of this that I spilled out here is extremely hot burning coals and uh, is going to burn the floor up. So, we're just going to, poof, yep, put it in here. Okay. It's very hot. I would hate to drop it and have it fly back in my face. And that's why I do this when there's no wind. grab all my cardboard to burn. It's been piling up on the porch there. Christmas boxes and this and that and all the stuff. Since we live in Alaska and we get better prices on things, honestly, from Amazon. We have we just have prime shipping for Amazon, so it's free. So shipping to Alaska is expensive. So uh, just buying things from Amazon, having free shipping is cheaper than going to the store most of the time. So that's why we end up with a, a lot of Amazon boxes. So anywho, um, yep, so I'm gonna grab my torch and the lighter and then I'm going to uh, go light this fire but I'm going to move this wood bin over to the door so that when I'm ready I can fill it up this is just crumb pleasure just some of the sawdust Actually, pretty warm. I don't know, it's 15 out, but it's warm in here. Um, so I'm just gonna leave this, this inside door open. So I'm just grab all these boxes. I think I'm done with the gloves for a minute. Just needed it for the ashes, that was pretty hot. Board up here. Um, I think I lost my lighter. Oh, it's in my bag. Good thing I found that. I didn't light it on fire. I don't know why I need a lighter actually. I forgot this uh, torch has its own lighting device. It's a little deal. So. Here it goes. I'm gonna light her up. 
gas on. Just open it's all a mail trash. Fingers got cold. What do you think? I think we're gonna take this compost bucket over to the bin. It's full. What do you got? You wanna play stick? You wanna play stick? water jug over and get water. I have half a jug inside and then we're going to fill this one. And honestly that should be enough for the week. Is that right? What do you say, Goosey? What do you say, Goosey? Yep, I'll be up there in a little bit. Alright. i grab some water. see how we're doing on our list. Um, still got to do the wood. I got water. I took the compost to the bin. Burning the cardboard. I got straw to the chickens, water to the chickens, and I got the ashes out. So I think we'll go uh, get the straw for the chickens and take them some water. And then, and then I'll do the, keep an eye on the fire out here. And then uh, um, it's supposed to snow 
um, three or four days this week, we've got a chance of snow again. So I'm just going to gather up the things that I find laying around and just put them up near the house. And that, that'll take care of that. So, yep, I'm going to go and uh, get some straw for the chickens and get them a bucket of water. or whatnot but I think this bale I believe it's like 18 bucks so that's what it is and our feed um, we just get poultry pellets and um, the cob they're all about 20 bucks a bag so all right we're in I'm just gonna take some of this sorry just take Take a little bit off there and uh, go fluff up what's in there. Give them some fresh. take what's left in this bin and put it up in there because in the evenings the ducks and the geese lay up in here and the chickens go up in the roost and uh just in the evening and then I put them to bed at night hi girls so the chickens are interested they want to peck through it Buckets are doing fine. They're not. They're not iced up yet. So I don't need extra water for it yet. All right, let's check out these amazing duckaroos. See what's going on in here. It's a noisy place to be in there. Oh, they all went out. Oh. They're laying again. The ducks are not. The uh, geese are not. The spring before before we get any goose action. I think I'm just going to gather up some of this stuff laying around out here. Put it up by the house, and then 
and then I'm going to do the, the bit the wood because once I do the wood then I'll probably go in once I get my wood bin filled so yeah the, the kids are are moving so all of this most of this stuff here in the yard um, is theirs actually so this greenhouse is theirs unless I buy it from them because the house that they bought actually has a greenhouse and then that shelter is theirs and all this all this stuff here and that tractor and my camper's mine and then of course Maddie's um, Maddie's school ride and then that chicken coop is actually theirs so we're gonna build our own chicken coop and maybe get some more chicks and I'm thinking that the new chicken coop is gonna go where this uh, shelter logic is it's more of a flat ground and a bit closer to the house so I don't have to walk uphill all the time with the water buckets and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna start picking up some things around the yard
straw straw bellows. It's uh, pretty handy. You just point it at directly where you want it, and uh, and blow on your fire just like a like the old bellows. But uh, it worked pretty good. And then uh, and then it uh, it gets this small. But uh, one is in my um, hiking gear. So when you're out hiking and you need to start a fire and you need to just blow on your little embers, you know, it's only it's only that big and super light. So straw bellows works good for our fire. We just throw it up under there. 1.30. So there's just a couple hours outdoors and chores are done for a bit. Hopefully the wood for the whole week and the water for the week. Of course, I have to do chickens every day, but I don't give them the straw every day. So anyways, let's check out the list. Wood bin, inside filled, outside filled, straw to the chickens, and we did check their water, but they didn't need any, so. Okay, now I was going to get a hot cup of coffee, but I am sweating, so uh, I don't know. Might get a cold drink. Let's see. I've got one of these. A berry lemonade. Let me try that. So, that's that. Outdoor chores are done. Whew, I'm sweating, Maddie. Uh, we have a about two hours before I gotta take off and go a couple towns over for my small group. I probably have like serious hat hair, but um, I think I'm gonna just relax. What do you think, Maddie? Should we just chill? I think we should just chill out for a little bit and uh, just leave the outer door shut. I can still hear the fire crackling away, so at least keep an eye on it. It's not going anywhere. It's completely surrounded by by um, snow, but I'm just going to keep an eye on it. And yeah, kind of feel like a nap. So anyway, thanks for watching me do my chores. Uh, yeah, that's what I do. Um, it's uh makes you feel good to have to work for all the little things uh you know you, you want water you can't just walk over and turn the faucet on you got to work for it you want heat you can't just turn up the furnace you got to haul in the wood and we had to go out and you know harvest all that wood too so um yeah um you want eggs you gotta have take care of the chickens you know you want you want animals and you know we want the eggs and so we got chickens and we gotta take care of the chickens um we just gotta it feels good to work hard for the things that you get and the things that you have instead of having it all um just always there and always um you know you forget you forget the everything you have someone had to work for um and it got handed to you you know if you want electricity someone had to put in that power line someone had to you know wire your house someone there's always work involved for you to get what you get and um you know you want eggs and you have to go to the store and get eggs there was a farmer behind that that had to do all the work to get those eggs so if we just uh take out the middleman and just do the work ourselves. Um, I feel like it keeps us humble and it keeps us remembering that all all things aren't just easy. Um, someone has to put in the work, and I'm I feel good putting in the work. And so, anyways, um, that's life around here. So, if you like, if you if you want to subscribe and, and watch our way of living, um, our simple simple way of living um you can subscribe and we have excuse me cleaning your feet um we have all sorts of different videos um and uh, so yeah subscribe uh like comment 
Let me know what you think about this. Um, do you enjoy walking over and turning your furnace up and turning your lights on and, um, you know, getting your eggs from the store? Um, I mean, those things are great. Those things are great, but um, this is just what I enjoy. This is this is what I like. And sometimes a lot of people I hear are like, I wish I could live like that. You can, you can. Um, you can build a home out of pretty much anything. Um, there are so many, you just get creative. Uh, you can build, you can build a house out of a shed. You can build a house out of a barn. You can build a house out of, I saw somebody build a house out of a dumpster on a, a YouTube video. Um, anything you can, you can live in a camper. You can, you can, you can make life as simple as you want to. It's not you don't have to have everything because that's just how it is and you already have everything you paid for all that stuff and you have it so now you have to live with it it's not so you can sell it and build something smaller you can sell it and have adventures do things instead of have things and there's so much more to be said about enjoying life and doing things than just sitting in a house where you have things. So that's my spiel. And uh, yeah, come back for more next time. Bye.